Hi everyone. So today I wanted to do a super easy, really quick tutorial for all of those people who maybe don't have the time to spend 30, 45 minutes in the mirror in the morning. As you can see, it's not a lot of makeup. It's kind of a no makeup makeup look, which is perfect if you don't want to have a full on face when you're going wherever you're going. So I wanted to do a really quick and easy tutorial to help you get ready really fast, but still feel made up. So I hope you enjoy it. I hope this helps and thank you for watching. Okay, so I moisturized my face already and the foundation I'm going to use is NARS. This is Sheer Glow Foundation and it's in Barcelona. You could also use a tinted moisturizer if you don't want to, you know, if you don't want to use a foundation or you want something a little lighter or you just don't have the time to put on foundation. But I'm going to take my beauty blender and just uh, dab that onto my skin. So once I get as much foundation as I want on my skin, I'm going to, don't forget your neck. <laughs> I'm going to go back with the blender and just kind of roll it to blend it all in. So once I'm okay with the coverage, I'm now going to take my Almay Line Smoothing Concealer, which is right here, and I'm going to just dab it underneath my eyes and around my nose. And first I blend it in with my fingers, just kind of dabbing it. You want to be really careful underneath the eyes because the skin is really sensitive. You don't want to rub. So I dab it underneath, dab it a little bit right there, make sure you get the corners of your eyes, and then I'm going to go back in with my beauty blender and just even it out, blend it out. Once I've done that, I go in with my Urban Decay Eye Primer Potion, and I just do this before I get to my eyes um, to let it sit. And So after I put that on, I'm going to let it sit and settle into my eyelids. And I am going to go in with my Urban Decay Afterglow Glide On Cheek Tint, which looks like this. And this is in Crush. Now, it looks kind of bright, but it's really sheer and it's really pretty. So I just take my two fingers here, and that's what it looks like on my fingers. And I don't do that big smile. I just kind of pucker my lips a little bit, and it gives the definition of my cheek. So I just do like that and find the area on my cheeks that I want to apply the blush with. And I take it all the way back to the hairline. I just kind of go back in and pat over it to make it a little more even. If there are any harsh lines, I find that this gets rid of them really well. Like I said, just enough to give myself some color. And now I'm going to go in with my Makeup Forever HG powder. And I'm not going to put this powder all over my skin. I'm just going to apply it to where I'm oily, which is right in my T-zone. So just here on my chin, I'm going to set my blush, my cream blush with NARS. I know I use this all the time. NARS Orgasm. It's my favorite blush ever. Just taking a simple blush brush, same movement with my cheeks, and just going right over that cream color. Okay, so now that I've done all of that to my face, I'm pretty much done with my face, um, and my primer potion has set on my eyelids, I'm going to take Summer Haze Mineralized Eyeshadow by MAC, which is this beautiful color. There you go and a stiff dome brush. This is my MAC 217 brush. And I'm going to dip it in to my mineralized powder and I'm just gonna brush it on my lids. So I apply quite a bit into the corner of my eyes and I blend it out towards my crease and towards my brow bone. Really simple. It's a really, really pretty color. So now I'm going to do my brows, nothing too intense, something really simple, but I do want to fill them in. My brows are a little sporadic right now, so I'm going to take Lingering by MAC, the eyebrow pencil Lingering. Really thin pencil, love this Just pencil. Just fill my eyebrows in, in all the spaces that are a little bare. I'm not going to draw on a full-on eyebrow. I just want to um, fill them in so they don't look so sparse.
especially around this area. I'm working on it. So like I said, nothing too dramatic, just enough to fill them in and make them even. And after I do that, to make sure that they're not being too unruly, I take my CoverGirl Professional Mascara, and it's clear mascara. Any clear mascara is good. And I just kind of brush it through my brows to make sure that they stay still. Now, after that, I take my eyelash curler. I'm going to curl my eyelashes and I'll be right back. So I've curled my eyelashes and I added my mascara. I used the uh, Revita Lash Mascara, which works really well. I'll probably have to recurl my eyelashes because usually after I put on mascara, they fall back down. But now what I'm going to do is take my uh, cream highlighter. It's, you can't see the top anymore, but it's from Urban Decay. The color is Sin. And I just take a little bit of that onto my finger, literally a little bit. And I just apply it to my cheekbones, the top of my cheekbones, to give myself a little bit of shine. You can see it right there. Both cheekbones little bit of shine and then I take a little bit less than I took for my cheekbones and I apply it to my brow bone so just to give myself a little bit of a glow after that I take my Smith's rosebud salve and I talk about this in my blog it's amazing it usually comes in a little tin but they finally put it in a tube so you don't have to stick your finger in it which is awesome it has a little bit of a pink color tint to it so I take that, put it on my lips, just to moisturize. And if you're good with the pink color that it has, you could just leave your lips like that and be done. But I like to add a little bit of warmth to my lips, especially with this glowy look. So I take um, Max Ravishing. I also talk about this on my vlog, one of my new favorite lipsticks. I often find that if I put a lipstick on over a lip balm, it shears out the lipstick really good. It gives you just enough color without giving you too much and looking like you really have a lot of lipstick on. So that's what I do. I just add a little bit over the rosebud salve. And as you can see, it gives a nice coral color to my lips, which I really like. So that's about it. I'm done.